Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I am Zombie Cartman, and today I'm going to show you the easiest and safest way to get unlimited obsidian in Minecraft. Now, if you're playing survival Minecraft, you probably know that obsidian is one of the most dangerous and hardest resources to actually come by in the game. You generally have to spend a lot of time around lava, or you have to go to the end and prepare to fight a bunch of endermen to cut down the pillars. Either way, it's not necessarily an easy task to get a lot of obsidian in Minecraft. At least it wasn't until you've seen this video. Now, if you are needing an abundance of obsidian, you probably have started a world in large because most of the time when people need huge amounts of resources, it's because they're playing the game in large. If you're trying to play Minecraft on a classic world and you're running out of resources, it's probably because you're on a classic world. And that being said, I don't believe this tutorial will be good for a classic world either, given the nature of the way I actually get the obsidian, it just will not work. And the reason it will not work is because you have to have your stronghold has to be actually outside of the first map that you actually spawn in. So when you're playing the game, what you're looking for is a stronghold, like I said, that is not within the first map of your world. And if you do have that, chances are you will if you've started your game in a large world because they like to put the stronghold a thousand blocks away from you. Either way, once you have your world set up in large the way I do here, and you have found the stronghold, and you have found the end, you'll notice that when you spawn into the end, you actually spawn on this platform of obsidian. It is five blocks by five blocks wide, or, you know, 25 blocks of obsidian. And as you can see from this very fast footage here, I've already removed all the pillars from inside the end, so all that obsidian is gone. The Jewel of Minecraft, which is the structure that I was looking at at the beginning of this video, actually has 6,500 pieces of obsidian on that bottom pyramid, which is over 100 stacks of obsidian, which took a lot more than what those pillars had in them in the end, and that's why I ended up finding this method to begin with. So anyway... What I'm doing here is I'm cutting this 25 blocks of obsidian and then I'm riding in my little minecart over to the teleporter. I have my bed set up right in the stronghold so that when I respawn, I spawn right by the, the teleporter for the end and I just jump back in. And then because I've teleported and respawned in the end, this 25 blocks of obsidian respawns in the end as well. And so... I just come back in here and I keep cutting the 25 blocks and then I keep teleporting out and this literally is the fastest way that you can possibly get obsidian in this game. It also helps to have a haste 2 beacon going like I do and I also have an efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 pick that I'm using for this work which is a must as well. But yeah, like I said, this is the fastest way, I believe, to get obsidian in the game. It's unlimited as well. I mean, you're not going to go into some ravine and just keep dumping buckets of water onto a patch of lava forever because eventually you're going to run out of lava. You know, but with this method here, you can actually never run out of obsidian because it's just going to keep coming back and it's just going to keep coming back. This method also is best done with two people. If you can get a friend to help you, it really works great because, you know, two people cutting this is so much faster than one. And if you do get a friend to actually help you, one of you can stay in the end. You both don't have to leave. And the platform of Obsidian will respawn as soon as the other person comes back into the end. And as you can see, I've built quite a little structure around this platform just to make sure that we don't mine ourselves right into the void, which would be tragic. 
like always, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I hope this makes your Minecraft experience last even longer.